All right, so I've cleared out a few ferns, cut back a little bit of the trees, and replaced all those two by fours that were laying out the fence line with uh, stakes and string. We've got the folks from Northwest Landscape Care coming out to dig the holes for us again. Moving right along. right in the middle of the hole and uh, middle of the hole so wherever right in the middle was there let's, uh, let's just measure all the way to the other side and we'll divide by two just from the inside edge of the hole the inside of the edge of the hole is 160 so that'd be 80 inches Right there. Okay. Good. So I've got the uh, four by four posts, and for lack of a better term, the uh, base skirt of uh, pressure treated wood roughly in place. Base skirt is screwed together so that we'll know the posts when they're set in the holes will be spaced the right distance apart. My dad and brother are, are on their way over and they're going to help me uh, set the things in concrete. We'll check to make sure they're plumb 
and uh, square before we uh, do anything. We may have to adjust the holes a little bit to make it all work. Obviously these front posts are going to come down quite a bit so the pitch of the roof won't be won't be so steep. But that's the plan anyways. Not sure if you can see this real well but we've got this old uh, tree stump that's rotting away on one side but it's pretty firm on this side. We're going to chainsaw it out so it's just not a, a tripping hazard when we're accessing the gate. How many? You just want one in there? Yeah, just one, and then we'll uh, kind of tamp it down and then go ahead and get one right around. It. That's how yeah, it. I'll. Uh, and he'll hold that. that. I'll try and yeah. try and make sure it's level here. Yeah. On all you the different directions. It? Yep, and then just one this side, one this side. While you're doing that, I'll start tamping. Yep, I'll try to get out of here. Tamping. Yeah, Brian. Having three hands. You know, it does make a difference. <laughs> you got a knife on you, anybody? Yeah! I got one in the truck. Hey, if it's not under the plywood. No, Keep it. We'll just make sure this yep. is. Yeah. This really gets. And the and about the same thing. Would it now be about time for the concrete? Would you guess? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're, uh, we're ready for the concrete. Thanks. And it may not take a full bag for whole. Oh, I don't think it will. Not, not based on you know, the whole thing, a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Keep Some on going. Yeah. Go ahead. Round it. Round it right on up. That's enough. Because you got to get there. Right. Is that about a half bag? So it kind of. I'd say a little more than half. Okay. Once he once once he it puts a bit, it'll settle. Then he comes and puts a little cap top dressing on it. Yeah, yeah I'll do the top dressing afterwards. Yeah. Watch the master now. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Did you clean out the chicken coop already? Or is that I, just, did. I did. I did. Going downhill? Here. Yeah, let's uh, do the last one in the run. Test height, so uh, he definitely needs to put some gravel in that one. We may need more gravel, so well, it's good to hear it once it's compact. You're closer than you think. 
Now you're, you're a little, little, you're a little, little high. Sure. A little high. It might be a little high. So. It's okay. We'll find out. level is the best way to do this, but uh, just as a, as a preliminary, this is about 68 and a half inches up. Sixty-four and a quarter. So yeah, we did go too much gravel. Oh, start, bang, start banging it. If nothing else, we can use that clam shovel. Yep, yep. Are we talking like an inch or two? Or? We'll find out. No, I think if you just tamp that, you're there. Okay. You know, it's just got to be... I'll let you hold that so yeah, it doesn't... Let, uh... Bang it down once or twice. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. Yeah, let's put the gravel around it. Okay, oh. guys, everybody keep an eye on this for the rest. <laughs> Okay, so we're right in the middle. Basically what we okay, want Brandon is the, scoop. What we want is that pole to be right in the middle and right at the yep. same height. Yep. Well we got we got the height part, we gotta be a little Ooh, almost there, Brandon. What? I can always uh, cut a little off too, so No, it's okay. You must have had a higher to start off because could have been. And some of the poles may be longer. No, but when I when I first pull it out. Yeah, a long ways to go. I think Can we, we grab some out? I think we need to grab the clamshell and just... Here, let me just here, lift it up. Okay. It's also pretty narrow at the bottom. Hey, you know what? This is, this is cockeyed on the top. This, this one not, it, let's do this, too. This one's a flatter. Whichever end is a little wider should be in the ground. That's wider. Yeah, let's put, let's put the wider end in. It's a little wider, it. but this is a flatter cut. I think, visually, I think I'd rather have uh, an uneven top than a wider. Uh, that is really close. Now, the bad news is it's not centering the hole. You know what? Okay, so, yeah, it, can, is well, there any minute. way to... I can move this over to see... Let's the, check level. Yeah. This is uh, middle right Ooh, here. This is good right here. This is perfect on that side here. Then we're pretty. Then we're good. All right. So I'll hold that oh. level, and we can get gravel around the outside. Okay, we're good for uh, carpet. I do have a partially open bag of quick feet. 
in the farm shed too. I always only use two for three poles, so I think yeah, we're in good shape. We should be in good shape. a little bit of here for you. For you home. You okay? Yeah, okay? Yeah. Good. Okay. You got to get one huh? If I do this one next, right? Okay, I'm going to go there and find out. Yeah. 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 No, Brandon, once we get this, it doesn't how much gravel you got to put in the very first time. It'll need to go right to there, actually. Okay. That's yeah. a lot of gravel. <laughs> well, I got to hit it pretty hard. Okay. Okay. I can get it out. <laughs> That'll do it. I think we'll need more than that. Yeah. Okay, well, let's check. Let's check. And do it, that's really be square. You want to go get that is really okay. square. Okay. Holy shit. You shock. know what, Brandon? That yeah. was a good guess. That was a real good guess. Yeah, I, I mean, Mike may have to pack it a little bit, but I saw how much I put in there for how narrow the hole is. Oh, and then Brian, how do you like this space out there? We moved over about Yeah, I'll check the spacing again, too. We moved over about an inch. And we'll grab that, um, that level in here. Can you throw some gravel around it? Yep. And we'll uh, check the level here. Uh. Alright, go for it. Wow, this one will take a whole bath. Yeah, it'll be bigger than a hole. Now, that one probably will have a slope, right? Yeah, this one will have a slope. So this one will just bring the post up to the string as we go. I don't know how much, but... Uh, okay, this one is... Uh, this one is considerably shorter than that top one. So you want to fill a more gravel then? Probably a lot more gravel okay. on this one. It has to come up to about here. So uh, are we worried about the, this side of it too, Brian? Yeah, once we get the uh, two outside posts in, then we'll the put, the side. In, put the interior ones right over the middle. Okay. Is this going to matter? It might be in the way. We'll see. And I'll tap it as we go. You see the hole? Nope, one more hole. Okay, hold on. Okay. It's amazing, Dad, and I did this. That's too oh. much. Good for your eyes. No, no, not your eyes. Oh, that's. Ooh, time to check. That was exactly yeah, yeah. 17 cubic centimeters of gravel, so I know. <laughs> you know what? That is really, really close. I think it just based needs on, to be tamped down a little bit just, more. But I just tapped it a couple of times. You want an inch more gravel in there now? Probably not. Let me uh, check. That is really close. I'm just like a half inch too uh, high at this point. You know, I can I can tamp this a little more aggressive because you're holding it, mm -hmm. you know, versus the other day.
good? Yep, yep, that'll soak right in. I can already tell you how much travel it needs. That much? Okay. Is that the official amount? Nope. Okay. Well, pretty close. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, a little hot. Let's oh, that's okay. But once you pack it, you're going to be right there. Plus, you haven't got a. Your left, your, the side on your right is lower than. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's a little bit off. Ready? Hold on, if we get a little bit closer to the edge of the hole, because we're, we want to be in the center of that, I got you. Yeah, but we'll end on the string. Okay. Is that straight? Yep. You sure? This one looks like I need to go out and pour me a little bit. Is it milking time? <laughs> it sure sounds like okay, it Brian, what do you want to do? If you can, Brian, hold on. Pull it towards you a little bit so I can get some gravel behind it. Right. And then you can put it back. Because that way I would... Yeah, there we go. That sort of levers it into the ground, too. The gravel. He's not learning his lesson very quick. Who? Yeah, I think he hits the fence and hasn't figured out that it's electric yet. Now he's, like a cow. she's crying for me. Oh. <laughs> I, we, we've decided it's the fence. Ow! Oh, ee! Ow! Oh. Yeah, she stopped hitting the fence now, so that's good. <clears throat> Dad and Brandon called it a day. We got quite a bit done. I'm happy with, uh, with what we achieved. We've got all of the... Uh, vertical pine posts set in concrete. We didn't get to the 4x4 posts for the goat shelter, but we'll, we'll work on that tomorrow. Let's take a quick look at what we did today. Things are taking shape nicely. <laughs>